dear students welcome back in the previous session we have discussed about uh, louis jones faraday coil and now we are going to discuss about smart bristow faraday coil this is uh, somewhat advancement of jones faraday coil okay and uh, this is the most commonly used type uh, before this modern electronic uh, stimulator has been came okay now now we will see the circuit so this one is also having um, primary circuit as well as um, a secondary and the primary circuit which is supplied here by two leclen cells in the previous thing in louis jones only one leclen cell is used but here two leclen cells are wired in series or the current may be obtained from the main it may be used by leclen cells or to a source of supply okay the primary circuit consists of a switch and as well as the interrupting device same as uh, in the previous one and a primary coil okay primary coil wired in series wired in series with each other okay so here uh, a wound of wire on a soft iron core here that is electromagnet and you'll have the primary coil at this level this is the primary coil okay so the interrupting device consists of a metal screw held in a screw support and lock um, and with a lock nut by which it can be fixed in position okay this prevents it from being shaken out of uh, position by the continual vibration of the hammer against it the tip of the screw rests against the sprung metal limb okay this one sprung metal limb of a hammer which is arranged so that it vibrates in a horizontal plane as this facilitates an even action and interruption of the current okay here the soft iron head of hammer lies opposite to the core so of a small electromagnet which is separated from the primary coil so the limb of the hammer is prolonged beyond here in the lewis uh, we can't see this prolonged um, limb beyond the head but here this is the modification and on this part of it is an adjustable weight which enables the speed of vibration to be altered so that is the use of uh, this uh, uh, the limb of the hammer which is prolonged beyond the head okay the tip of the screw and the point of the limb of the hammer with which it makes contact so this is the point so or faced with uh, platinum or tungsten so these are the hard metals resist the wear which tends to occur from the sparking and um, from the continual vibration of hammer against the screw okay so between the screw support and the base of the hammer is wired with uh, a condenser here a condenser is attached in um, louis jones it is not present here a condenser is attached in between them okay so the primary coil is wound on a hollow wooden bobbin and again this one is wound on a hollow wooden bobbin okay next the secondary coil is wound over the primary coil it has about two and a half times as many turns of wire as that of primary okay the ends of the secondary coil so this is the secondary coil the ends of the secondary coil is attached to the potential divider from which the patient circuit is supplied from which the patient circuit is supplied here okay yes 
a laminated soft iron core a laminated soft iron core can be inserted into the hollow wooden bobbin on which the primary and secondary coils are wound okay the end of this bobbin lies opposite to the hole inside the case of the apparatus okay so this is the construction of the smart bristow faradic coil so in the previous uh, in the lewis zone the secondary coil is moved over the primary coil but here that is not happening now the iron core which is inserted into the wooden bobbin and which helps in the um, generation of self induced emf in the secondary coil okay next so now we will see the working of this smart bristow faradic coil so current passes from the cells so here is the cells the current passes from the cells through the switch screw support okay screw limb of the hammer and then the electromagnet and to the primary coil and back to the cells okay so the current is flowing from cells okay from cells screw support hammer primary coil um that is electromagnet and then the primary coil and back to the cells so this is the flow of current so the electromagnet is magnetized and attracts the head of the hammer and draws its limb away from the screw and then what will happen the circuit is broken the current ceases to flow and um, electromagnet is demagnetized this releases the head of the hammer and the limb springs back again as the screw making the circuit again so the same the working is same as that of the uh, louis jones and um the series of events is repeated to 50 to 100 times per second and an interrupted direct current flows in the primary coil okay P flows in the primary circuit so as the circuit has inductance a self induced emf is set up which retards the rise of the current okay when the circuit is broken the self induced emf tends to prolong the flow of current so um so in the previous session also i have mentioned so this uh, flow of current will not prolong for a long time uh, it produce some sparks uh, between this uh, hammer and the screw at that area isn't it yes so the same thing here also it cannot do so to any appreciable extent because the circuit is broken and instead so the sparks which are produced there so normally such kind of sparks causes some uh what you call it as um, uh the patient will experience some sort of um, irritation because of that uh, sparks which are produced there okay so what happens because um, of uh, that sparks that sparks will charges the condenser between the screw and the hammer so that one is taken by the condenser and this uh, condenser is charged with that uh, small amount of uh, uh, flow of current okay this reduces the tendency of for sparking between the screw and the hammer which we observed in the louis jones coil and makes the fall of current more rapid okay so the condenser then discharges back round the primary circuit so again the condenser discharges back round the primary circuit the reverse flow of current assist the rapid collapse of the magnetic field around the primary coil and the electromagnet okay so that is the function of this condenser here okay that means it assist 
so the condenser the reverse flow of current in the condenser assisting the rapid collapse of the magnetic fields around the primary coil and the electromagnet okay the later ensuring the immediate release of the head of the hammer so the circuit is of low ohmic resistance with inductance and um, uh so the condenser discharge uh, produces a train of damped oscillations so we have already seen that the type of oscillations which are occurring in the smart bristol faraday coil we have observed uh like this so damped oscillations we can observe in this smart bristol faraday coil so this discharge produces a train of damped oscillations these have a frequency of about 1000 cycles per second okay so the varying current flowing in the primary coil sets up a varying magnetic field which cuts the secondary coil producing an emf in it by electromagnetic induction when the primary current is raising in intensity the induced emf is in the opposite direction to that applied to the primary and as the rise of current is slow is of low voltage when the primary current falls the induced emf is in the same direction as that of applied to the primary and because the fall is rapid is of high voltage and short duration and it is followed by a train of damped oscillations so because of all these things we will get this damped oscillations okay so the peak of emf and the first few oscillations the peak of emf and first few oscillations that follow it or the effective stimuli of the current not the remaining um, oscillations so they are of shorter duration than those obtained from the lewis jones coil and consequently produce less sensory stimulation so that the current is more comfortable for the patient because the variation in the primary current are so rapid they tend to produce a high emf in the secondary coil and it is not necessary to have a secondary coil with many more turns of wire than the primary in order to produce adequate voltage the maximum output from the secondary circuit is about 40 volts only okay so this is about the smart bristol faraday coil um how this faraday coil producing such kind of damped oscillations okay in the next session we are going to discuss about um, multi vibrator circuit nowadays um, such kind of circuits are uh, used to produce faradic type of currents thank you